Hey, Hack Nation, Gazelle Nation, this is Tony, and today is the day, guys. Today is the day that we are releasing Gazelle Trading System to the world. I've been teasing you guys with it. I've been showing you the profits. I've been showing you all this kind of stuff, guys. And today, I just want to introduce to you, component by component, the great system the great kind of just architecture that makes up the system okay so first of all gazelle is a multi-time frame based trading system okay what does that mean um that means that uh the more time frames you have that are pushing in the same direction the more powerful a move you'll have okay i'm going to show you an example of that i'm going to go on a four hour time frame and we see several things here, right? We see the white lines and arrows. Okay. That represents the daily time frame. Okay. And that's very key, guys. The daily time frame is very, very powerful. And uh, I would guarantee the reason that the majority of you have lost, and I have lost in the past, is because we were probably going against a very strong high time frame. Okay of which the daily is one of the most powerful, okay? The next we have, next we have um, the four hour time frame. okay? And we're looking at the first indicator we're gonna talk about, which is called the pivot lower, okay? Pivot, P-I-V-O-T, the pivot lower. The pivot lower really breaks down the support and resistance levels and lets you know when price is rejecting and is about to reverse and go the other way. Therefore, we call it the pivot lord, okay? Um, it measures a whole lot of things in the background, <coughs> but one of the main things it does that we use the system for, we do not use it to try to catch tops and bottoms, okay? That, that's the first thing. We do not use pivot lord to try, cap, try to capture tops and bottoms. Um, we do not use pivot lord to try to catch tops and bottoms, point blank period. What we do use it for is to give us a roadmap, breadcrumbs, if you will, uh, to foreshadow where the market is likely to go or where we can find the highest probability, okay? In this case, we see the daily and the four hour. People are telling us that it is bearish, right? Arrow pointing down means bearish, means that the price wants to go down, okay? So we're on the four hour, but we would not take uh price on the uh the four hour we would go to a lower time frame so as you can see every time both of these time frames line up going the same direction we usually see dynamic moves in the market okay just to measure this when they got together this went 250 pips okay so this was consolidation here which happens in the market okay but when it broke out of that consolidation what did we get this, right, this move right here was 306. Going all the way down to the four hour pivot, it was 300 and about 61, okay? So what I want to explore is this particular move here, okay? So we see that when it goes against the daily, it's usually a shorter move. When it goes with the daily, it's a longer move, thus, if we trade where the daily is going, we, we put ourselves in position to get further distance and, and more of a straighter line and less jittery and you know less risk of losing our money, okay? So we're gonna highlight this right here and we see that it hit four hour structure, but not only did it reject four hour structure, but it also ran into daily momentum going the other way around okay so we highlighted that let's go down to the 15 minute okay this is the strategy we look we look for higher time frame bias okay we look for a higher time frame bias bias meaning we want to know the direction that the higher time frames are going but we go to the lower time frames for entry. And what do we see, guys? We see an entry arrow here on what we call the Gazelle Stealth Moving Average, okay? 
and the gazelle stuff moving average i formulated a lot of calculations and a lot of things that are under the hood to give us optimum entry when price is ready to move okay there are a lot of systems out there that will tell you a general direction but gazelle was crafted to let you know entry when it is about to move okay guys and so i have a strategy that i teach regarding it and it's called the face strategy okay face meaning f a c e f stands for fresh rejection then we look for an arrow then we look for colors and by colors we mean we look for the colors that match we see right here that when the moving average turned red, that obviously stands universally stands for sell or bearish. But we also see here our third indicator, which is called the gazelle wave runner, which has also broken the zero line and is now in bearish territory. Okay. This measures the strength of momentum in the market. It measures structure as well. Okay. So if we make a vertical line, right here at the arrow what do we see we see the uh we see fresh rejection we see an arrow we see a red line on the moving average and we also see red on the wave runner uh which has broken bearish and so that would be uh an authorization to get in guys f-a-c-e fresh rejection arrow colors matching and then execute or entry and that is as simple as it gets guys but we get into this with confidence because we already know where the daily wants to go because as we look at a higher time frame okay what do we see from before we see this white line meaning that the daily still wants to go down and so we have easier pips we have higher probability trades and the last thing i want to share with you guys is not only are we taking a higher probability trade but we can get in with lower stop loss distance okay as we can see this was the entry candle okay this little short candle here so we have three areas to which you can get in to the trade and to place your stop loss we put either right above the moving average above the arrow okay we can get in above the most recent high, which is here, or you can simply put above, safely above the structure that you just rejected, okay? We're not gonna tell you how to manage your trade because everyone has different trading styles, but we have given you three levels of uh, stop loss areas that you can choose according to your trading plan and according to your threshold for risk okay so let's measure how long these stop loss distances we we can agree that this would have been our entry candle so the first level of stop loss would have been and this is on the hour time frame okay this is a 40 pip stop loss which is very good for a hour time frame the next one going up would have been 84 pips which is still not a bad uh stop loss distance and then the last one would have been 124 pips okay so let's go with the first one roughly we're looking at 40 pips okay look let's just go not down to the bottom let's go down just to the place where it leveled off guys that right there is 260 pips so we risked, we took a risk of 40 pips and it went 260, okay? So guys, we're literally talking about a more than six to one trade right there. Guys, that is phenomenal, phenomenal risk to reward. You, you have to understand guys, trading in the markets are all about getting the best risk to reward, okay? The, the closest entry with the minimal amount of risk okay so let's say you only want to risk two percent of your capital okay well we let our stop loss determine how how big our lot size is 
So let's say you don't want to go to 40, but let's say you want to go the route of 80, uh, let's say 83 right here, okay? Well, we still know that it went 260. Well, guys, that is still more than a three to one trade. Meaning that if you risked $500, you, $500, you would make over $1,500, okay? With more than a three to one trade. If you did the six to one, risking that same $500, you would make $3,000, guys, okay? So this is a phenomenal, phenomenal way to trade because it gives us the highest probability and it gives us the shortest amount, the shortest and safest, okay? A stop loss, therefore it is increasing our risk to reward ratio. And so when we do win, we can win at a much higher rate and win at a much higher ratio and maximize our profits.